In 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, the apostle says to his young son Timothy, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And as you know, the apostle Paul was a tent maker. And this word dividing seems to have come into his vocabulary as he begins to cut tents in certain ways. And if you've ever cut fabric, then you know you must cut along certain lines. And it's so with the Word of God. From the days of slavery, spiritual songs have poured from the hearts of black men and women. The words Savior, Redeemer, and Friend have brought comfort for generations. In their search for equality and acceptance, the church has long been a haven and refuge for black Americans. But while the songs they sang were heartfelt and passionate, most pastors were without formal training, leaving a scarcity of clear preaching and teaching. When I grew up, I couldn't have told you about salvation because no one explained it to me. So it was no training. You just go to church. Go to we do things sometimes uh, routinely without realizing it. So we go to church and we do things. Like, for instance, we had uh, birthdays and special tea parties and things, fundraisers. But basically, some of those things has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. And, and to be a member in many cases uh, uh, of a church, they just come around and collect your dues and that make you a member. If you didn't go to church, they really didn't care. So we just didn't get the training. By the time theological institutions opened to black students, the trend of untrained church leadership was widely established. Unfortunately, uh, many of the churches in the inner city uh, do not provide the kind of training that will enable people to develop as disciples of Christ. It was in this setting that God placed a burden on the hearts of two men, Jeremiah Rowe and Alonzo Levert. We knew something about the caliber of the churches around about us, and so we just knew that we believed that something needed to be done. Looking for Bible study resources, Jeremiah Rowe found himself in the Biola Bookstore in downtown Los Angeles. The sales lady asked him if he were a pastor, and she said to him at that time, Well, you know, I believe you ought to go and talk to my pastor, Dr. J. Vernon McGee. J. Vernon McGee, pastor of L.A.'s Church of the Open Door and host of the world-renowned Through the Bible radio program. McGee was a man devoted to missions. But he realized that although his ministry was reaching thousands around the world with the gospel, little was being done to impact the inner city. In their meeting with Dr. McGee, Jeremiah Rowe and Alonzo Levert were hoping for a single teacher to conduct a Bible class in the South Central Los Angeles neighborhood. Dr. McGee suggested that we start a school rather than having just the one class that we had asked of him. And I said to him, a school? I had never even conceived of the idea of having a school, we were just asking for one Bible class. That meeting was the spark that lit the fire. Dr. McGee provided two teachers from his own staff to begin teaching classes at the school. He believed future teachers would come from seminary students and graduates willing to give of their time and develop their own skills by teaching what they have learned in seminary at an inner city Bible institute. Dozens of people flocked to those first classes, hungry to be trained in the Word of God. The Los Angeles Bible Training School had begun. I remember so vividly people coming in, dozens and dozens uh, into the school on an evening. They'd already worked a full work day. And yet they came in with the enthusiasm and commitment to learn the Word of God and to be able to apply it in life and in ministry. That was tremendously impressive. I was a father. I was a husband. I was working. So it's just what I could afford to do. I couldn't have afford it to go to Tabot or Biola, even if it was open. 
I don't care what other schools I've been to. What I learned at the Los Angeles Bible School enabled me to pass the others with no problems. It was just a transitional thing in my life, just seeing this for the first time. It was like everywhere I went, I would tell everybody, I was just being born again. I really was, I was a new person. Since 1962, LA Bible has been training laymen in rightly dividing the word of truth. Through the years, God has blessed this ministry with instruction from well-known Bible expositors like Paul and John Feinberg, Ralph Bell, international evangelist with Billy Graham Evangelistic Association, Moody Bible's Paul Nevin, Curtis C. Mitchell of Biola, and Paul Wesley Felix, once a student of Los Angeles Bible Training School, now at the Master's Seminary. I feel quite privileged in having an awesome uh, legacy to, to continue with the history the, of the teachers that we've had here at the school. And, uh, and I just want to shout it out to the world just to let them know what God has really done here. God is continuing to bless the ministry of the Los Angeles Bible Training School through its partnership with the Master's Seminary and its founder and president, John MacArthur. And the Los Angeles Bible Training School continues to be faithful, continues to be in the hands of faithful, gifted men who are training key men who can go into the churches of the inner city of Los Angeles and really preach the gospel and teach the Word of God and make a difference. Students of the Los Angeles Bible Training School earn a certificate in biblical studies, but the true goal of the program is to prepare the saints for ministry in their churches. We have chapels twice a week. We can expose the students to various ministry opportunities. But then it's also known specifically by... God began to reveal a missionary heart in me. He began to explain to me, if I have been saved, there's a mandate on my life that I must be a part of his Go Ye Therefore program. And I began to see that and I sought out the ministry and I found that ministry here at this school. Many of the school's graduates are impacting their communities by ministering to youth. Margie and Landis Roberts direct Christian Release Time Education for the entire Los Angeles Unified School District. You see, we take the children to a nearby church or facility and, uh, and we teach them the Bible. I couldn't have done it without Bible training because, uh, number one, you have to know the Bible in order to teach the Bible. And how can one teach what one does not know? This is the love of the Word that they have to come out and teach us that we may be able to go out and teach others also. See, it, 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 it's how they edify us to be able to go out and make an application for what we have learned at LA Bible. LA Bible to me is a blessing to the whole Los Angeles area. Matter of fact, to the whole state of California. Former student and teacher Ernest Daniels brings the love of Christ and the hope of eternal life to many of the community's convalescent homes. Jesus took the sting out of death. The school's impact is also reaching around the world, as students have gone on to teach the Word of God in the remote parts of Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Attending Los Angeles Bible Training School has been a life-changing experience for me. It's actually opened up God to me, to be able to pick up the Bible, to be able to understand it, to be able to, uh, for myself, rightly divide the Word of Truth. They taught me how to do that here at this school. The ministry of L.A. Bible goes beyond the classroom. In partnership with the Master's Seminary, Los Angeles Bible is also sponsoring annual men's conferences to strengthen Christian men in their faith. We've had a great response. We had last year over 200 men that registered for it. We see it as another avenue. If we can reach the men in our community to help them mature in their faith, to offer them support. They can look around and you see 199 other men that are here believing the same things. I'm not alone. Today, these men sing with the Word of God dwelling in their hearts. 
For four decades, the Los Angeles Bible Training School has been providing sound theological training to those whose circumstances would otherwise prevent them. Just as the vision and partnership of J. Vernon McGee was vital to starting the school, the future of this great work depends on the support of God's people. God wants a place that he can send his saints. It's almost like a pasture, you know, where you feed cattle. God has a pasture in the city. Chapter 14 consists of a series of pronouncements. Things come and go, particularly in, in the inner city. They come and they go, even churches come and go. But that place has been rock solid for so many years and never wavered. It seems like it always was in the hands of people who kept the Word of God central and the strengthening of the church. We feel at times that if we talk about doing ministry in their city, that somehow it will get done. But there is that need to actually go and do it. And that's why I'm here. There is so much potential for ministry in the inner city. God has workers already there, hungry to be trained and sent out to the harvest field. Please help carry on the legacy started by godly men such as Reverend Jeremiah Rowe, Dr. Alonzo Levert, and Dr. J. Vernon McGee by lending your support to this great ministry of equipping people in the skills of rightly dividing the word of truth. It's the greatest thing I ever did in my life. If I had to do it again, I'd do it sooner. There's nothing that makes a man as happy as what I've been doing these years. I am convinced that our little Bible Institute, though scarcely visible, is meeting an important need by propagating biblically sound doctrine into destitute areas where such teaching and preaching is not known. Our students are reaching into Asia, Africa, Latin America, into the islands of the sea, and into Canada. And into the United States at large. I believe the future is bright and the potential is great. And with the help of the people of God who will pray for our ministry and who will give support to this ministry, we can sustain and expand it and accomplish much more. We are good stewards and we will highly value any kind of support which you may send to us. We promise to use it wisely and be held accountable. The main intent and purpose of the ministry of the Los Angeles Bible Training School is to bring glory to the name of our God. <laughs>